Hi, in this example, I'm going to show you how to look up grades for a test score, for, for a number of test scores. So say, for example, you've got uh, a bunch of test scores for some students, and you want to associate a grade for that. And we have a basic grade table, maybe anything from 0 to 59 is an F, anything that is 60, to, uh, 60 and above, but under 70 is a D and etc. for the C, B, and A. Well, so this is kind of a simple one. We're not including anything with a uh, minus or plus and this is just kind of a simple grading schedule. Now if you want to do a more complex one you probably have to insert them in between here. But for simplicity's sake and for this example we're just going to do it this way. So let's say for example uh, Lucy in effect she didn't really get a, a D but she got uh, 92 and we change that and it automatically changes to an A. And so that is above 90, so that should get an A. So I'll show you two examples. One where we have a VLOOKUP function and using this table, and one where we have a lookup function without using this table. And in essence, we are putting these values within the formula itself. So let's go through the first example of how we would create this uh, with a VLOOKUP. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to type equal VLOOKUP. I'm just going to press the tab key to complete that. And the value that I want to look up is this 80, right? And I don't need to put any dollar signs in the front because as I copy this formula down, it's going to take from the other rows as it copies down. So the next argument, comma, is the table array. So on the table array, I'm going to choose here. And for this particular range of cells, I need to press the F4 key to lock those values in because once I copy it down, I want those values to stay constant. So that's the, the lookup table. So the next one is the column index. So I want to have the second column. This is the first column. This is the second column. So I'm going to put the number 2. Now I want to do the last argument I want to put here is have it become an approximate match. So basically what this means is it's going to approximate it. Uh, let me go ahead and just click that. Oops. Let me go ahead and press approximate match, column index, and then approximate match. Double click that for true, or you can just press uh, or just enter number one. One is true and zero is false. So once I put the closing parentheses there, it completes this particular function. And what it does is it's going to look from when it sees the value here, B12, it's going to look and go one by one. Um, is 80 bigger than zero? Yes. It'll go to the next one. Is 80 bigger than 60? Yes. Bigger than 70? Yes. Bigger than 80? Yes. Bigger than 90? No. Then it's going to go back to 80 here. It's going to select that B. It's going to select the second column there. So once I press enter, you'll see that it selected it. I can go back into the cell and press and uh, double click the fill handle here, and it will copy the formula down. So basically, what the VLOOKUP is doing is it's taking this value here and looking at the second column in this table. Now, if we didn't want to have a second table in the sheet or anywhere in the sheet, and we had something easy or simple like these particular five rows of data, of this 5 by 2 matrix and it's not too hard to hard code this into our formula. We can do something like a lookup here. So the lookup formula, I can just type in equal lookup and it's going to tab that to complete it. I'm going to look up this formula here. I mean, I'm going to look up this value in the cell here and then I'm going to put in it, to, it into an array. So in order to uh, encapsulate the values in an array, I have to put them in curly brackets. So I'm going to have open curly brackets and the first value is going to be 0, second value will be 60, third value is 70, then 80, and then 90. Then I'm going to close that array, and the second array I'm going to put is going to be the letter grades. And I have to put the letter grades within quotes. So I'm going to open curly brackets, that's going to be F, comma, and then quotes, D, comma, quotes, C, comma, quotes, B, oops, quote B, and then quote A, and then curly bracket, and then the closing parentheses. So since the array is, uh, it's kind of called out within the formula, I can just press enter, and it's going to also bring back B. So what it basically did is it's looking up 80, and it's going, okay, 80 is in the, is it in the first area here, no, second, no, third, no, fourth, no, okay, fourth. So it's in the fourth place. So it's going to look up in this array here, one, two, three, four, and bring back B. So if I double click this and bring it down, I've got the same exact type of grades as I have with the VLOOKUP and the table. 
So if you wanted to have a table in a separate sheet and you wanted to kind of manage that table, uh, later on it's a little easier to manage, you can add rows and stuff, uh, maybe going with the VLOOKUP and table works. If you have a smaller table, you don't mind entering the values in there, maybe a VLOOKUP with the array works much better. So those are two examples of how you can perform a grade lookup using the VLOOKUP or the lookup function. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.